G'day and welcome back for more Survival Impossible. I've brought the little miner out here so that I can go and collect some magnesium before I start trying to build this road. The magnesium is critical for any of the outposts to have any ammo, so I figured I would do it first. Even though I'm going to make a magnesium mine, I would like to have some ammo before I get to, the, to that point. Because so I think it's going to be some time at... Well, I think it's going to be quite a while before I can manage to finish that road. Uh, the magnesium is somewhere in front of me. Oh, no, the one to the right is closer. I'm really quite happy with how this handles on its own. I'm dubious as to how well it's going to handle with the trailer, given that filling it up with ice was enough to make it struggle on some hills. I think I'll need the subgrid wheel control script in order to make it work nicely on the uh, steeper hills with the trailer. So that'll be some fiddling when I get back. I'm interested to see how this handles mining the boulders compared to the Goofy. Since I think after my experience with the ice last week, I feel like it's going to do really, really well. Probably better than the Goofy, since it's got a lot more articulation in the drills and so I can control it a bit better. But since, it's, since it can carry the same amount, kind of handy. All right. Now I know sometimes these boulders change what's in them. So let's check with our ore detector. That is cobalt, not magnesium. And that is magnesium. Thankfully, at least one of them is. Alright, drills on. Fuck. Extend my pistons. This is so much easier. How much we got? Uh, so that's like 9,000, 10,000 magnesium. Not bad. Kind of wish I could hold in my head the conversion rates between magnesium ore and magnesium ingots or uh, powder. I can never really seem to keep those sorts of figures in my head. But it'd be handy at the moment, so I'd have an idea of how much I'm actually going to get out of this mining. That's not. That's even better. Uh, how heavy am I? Eighty-eight thousand. I might actually stop there, rather than loading up heaps and taking forever to return back to the base. I think it'd be smarter to just take a moderate load, which kind of tells me that what I'm going to need once I've got the proper mine running chase my little pebbles down the snow drifts, uh, is a dedicated ore hauling machine and leave this parked up at the actual mine. Although I potentially could use this for mining other materials. But I think magnesium is going to be the main one that I'll need to mine a lot of, other than ice. Because it's the only one that's really consumed in the same quantities. Or consumed in large quantities. Right, full strength on the wheels, full power. Yeah, hills like that are why I <laughs> decided to just stop at almost 90,000 kilos rather than going up over 100. Last week I showed off the uh, LCDs in here. I decided to flip around the colour so that it's a black background and yellow text. After it was pointed out that it kind of looked a bit silly with the very, very bright screens. The signs on the side I think make sense because they're meant to look like signs, not screens. But in the cockpit they are screens, so... I think it was right to suggest that I change that, which is why I have. I'm really interested to see how this road building's going to go. I don't really know how I'm going to make it a relatively easily drivable road. I don't know what things I'm going to do that are wrong, what lessons I'm going to learn, because it is something totally new to me. I've always avoided drilling out pathways because they just tend to be a little well, just a little unreliable because they are quite rough when you drill things like this especially compared to standard planetary voxels I don't really know where I'm going <laughs> but what's new there nope that ain't right I want to go I think we have to go left all right we're back I've offloaded the magnesium Let's just check on the trailer and the new Splatform 2. So I added a I added an antenna to the trailer itself just in case I need to drive it separately to the Splatform. Not sure that was really needed, but it's what I've done. And I added a gyroscope to it. Once I hook this up to the miner, which, thanks to you guys, shall be called the... Yeah, get over here. Da 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 da! Rock Lobster! With 6,900 votes, 
somehow we didn't get a Boaty McBoat face and have you guys call the minor tickle fingers, which could have ended up quite interesting with me having to say, I'll just go grab tickle fingers and get me some magnesium for ammo. Hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly surprised you guys didn't take the chance at that one, but it will be called the Rock Lobster. It's going to be the yellow Rock Lobster because I kind of like it in yellow and don't want to repaint it red, even though everything else around here is red and white. So yeah. Introducing the Rock Lobster, which I should probably put in its name. Rock Lobster. And programmable block for subgrid wheel control script. Oh, uh, yeah, so I think I got distracted in the middle of about to explain what I was about, what I was going to do. There. Yeah. With the Rock Lobster attached to its trailer, I'm going to take this trailer down to the other part of the base where I have a welding arm and perhaps even a welding canary so I can weld up the floor of this thing. Which means I don't need to build anything in here. A lot of people suggested I try and put a welder in here, say on the camera arm. The camera arm's not piped, but also that would take up a lot of space. So I've deliberately avoided building anything like that in here as I didn't want to end up with something taking up the space of potentially a larger build that I might want to create in here. So before I head down there I need to load up the Rock Lobster with a bunch of stuff that I'm going to need for constructing more forts, capac slash outposts. So decoys, batteries, wind turbines, and Connectors for power, a probably turret, and at least a small cargo container, and a door. So we start with that. Cool, so that gives me a rough idea of what those components are going to require. I'll need a few hundred more steel plate, probably some more of that, probably some more of that, and some more of those. Let's put some more of those in. Let's put some more of those in. Oh, I think I... Did I do everything then in small grid? I think I did. Yeah, the antenna defaulted to small grid. Ow. I noticed that the battery defaulted to small grid, so I'll fix that. Uh, yeah, let's just throw a bunch of stuff in. Oh, I ordered up 200 cases of ammo and I've already gotten all by 13. Unless Izzy's inventory manager changed what I'd ordered. It might have. Hmm. I think this will do. If I need more stuff, I can just drive back. But I think this will be a good start for what I need. And then it is ammo. I need to grab a decent amount of ammo. So let's take some from some. Hey! Oh, the turret probably took it. Okay, I think I'm loaded up with everything I feel I'm gonna need, I hope. Uh, let's get out of here. I was going to create controls on the hotbar for this, but I honestly think for hitching up a trailer, it kind of makes sense to still have to do this manually, especially with build vision, because it's really not that hard and might even be slightly easier than if I was trying to do it with hotbar controls. There we go. And attach. And wheels. It'll be left. Left four. Right and right for. So these will be trailer lift wheels. These I want to set the height offset to as little as possible. And then the other ones I need to increase the strength on. We shall increase the strength on all of them. There we go. Now, in theory, yeah, you can kind of see here. The front and back wheels on the trailer are lifted. So then I can go trailer lift wheels off. Grab my subgrid wheel control script, turn it on when I need to, and leave it off for now. And oh, hang <laughs> on. It'd also help if I grabbed the remote and had handbrake on and off. There we go. Now we can move. <laughs> Here we go. And away we go down to the other half of the base. Getting up a little more speed than I'm comfortable with, but I think I'll be okay. Handbrake on and weld this up with this canary. 
could have sworn I broke all of my canaries, but I guess maybe I ran out of ammunition for them and that's why I remembered them being broken. Um, but I'm glad this is working because I think the canary is going to be the much, much easier way to get this working. Canary remote. Oh, I do love flying like this. Just as long as I remember to pay attention to my oxygen and my power supply. Oh, that corner one's wrong. Oh, that's annoying. Didn't think to pay attention to that. And I was placing him down. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, 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 no. Oh, what's going on? No, no. Welder tip stuck. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay. Control's a bit weird. <laughs> Uh, let's not get the welder in the middle again. Should be able to get it all from outside. Cool. That's all done. So one of the things I can't do with my setup here is easily refill my bottles. So I've grabbed as many as I can. Hopefully it'll be enough. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get past the lifts here. Oh, my wheels. Ah, this is like the Goofy. When I'm hooked up to the trailer, I need to invert the steering on these wheels, otherwise it's all wonky. Because now the center of mass has moved again. There we go, that feels better. Now I can actually turn. Right, we are on our way to build a road. Which is something I just never do in Space Engineers and really hope I can figure out how to make it work. I'm trying to decide the order to build stuff in, though. Initially, I'd been thinking... Um, like building an outpost first at the bottom but I'm kind of tempted to at least start the road a bit and then build the outpost I suppose I should have a kind of a gate at the start oh that's what I could do the first outpost could be like a little tunnel entrance and I start as sort of a tunnel and then we come out to the side as I approach the edge and then we can build railings along the way in various parts yeah yeah I like that 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 feels like the right way to go. So I'll start the digging bit of the tunnel first. And then I can build something around it that's a charging point, a safe point because it'll have a pair of turrets. And that should be a nice way to begin it. Because I'm not going to build the standard outpost that I built for the Fort's Capax. I'm going to build something different. Didn't mean to double pluralize that. The Fort's Capac. GPS. Let's turn off all these other GPSs. Oh, that almost went bad. Well, that's delightful. That's annoying that's going to mess up my time lapse. Oh, no. I have to do all that driving again. Oh, well, that's not so bad. Now, I did notice that the front two corners on the platform are rusty instead of, well, uh, super rusty. Oh, and I missed one plate. Two plate. Oh, whatever. I'm just going to leave this platform as slightly odd. I probably should have done some of the grading different ways and made it all a bit messy. Uh, that might have worked if it was all messy. But yes, I'm aware that some of the plates on this platform too are not matching. And I'm not going to fix them. Because <laughs> it's too hard. I might fix some stuff like that the next time I do some voxel hands detailing around the base and things. Because I think at that point I will feel okay about using creative mode to quickly pop out each of the bits and replace them and do them correctly. But trying to do it manually? Nah. I'd rather live with it being awkward. Alrighty. On the road again. Oh good. It was after I fixed my wheels. Nice. Something I do have to try and figure out is how I'm going to get some cool time-lapse shots of the road building. I think there's going to be some fun to be had with that. Uh, which bit of land should I go up? I could go up this bit right here, but then I'm going to have to navigate my way around the entire mountain. Although it does make some sense to maybe go that way, even though it is going to be a longer road. My original thought was to go over to this one that's kind of dead ahead of me now, since that'll be the shortest dugout road. Yeah, I'll go that way. I have no idea how long it's going to take me to build this road. And if I wanted to later, I could extend the road round to there so that it's an easier, shorter traverse between there and 
between the start of the road and the base, but I think probably smarter to go for less digging for now. I'll mark out the path with GPS and outposts on my return trip. Largely because I don't want to create GPSs that I then have to figure out which ones I need to delete because I had to double back. At least on the way back I should feel like I've kind of got it right. Here we go. Ooh. Maybe instead of a tunnel entrance outpost, maybe the first bit could be a bridge. Or do I just double around there? Maybe I'll double around there. I was going to start with a, just a little bridge across that gap, but there is actually a fairly nearby way to get up there. Oh, I should turn those wheels on the trailer off steering. It's probably not helping me. Uh, I'm also close to a Humboldt. Uh, no, don't want to go up here either. Oops. Oops. That'll be okay. She'll be right. A little bit rough. And keep going. How much further can I get? Uh. Oh, yeah. That's not bad. Don't think I could get up on that bit. So let's just go up to the end of this section here. Because then I might, when I drive back... Hang on, let's do this the smart way. Let's use a pointer. So I'm thinking I drive up, like for my return trip, I'll try and drive up this way. And then along here. And then this is going to be where the tunnel starts. So it'll be tunnel a little bit. And maybe I'll use this platform to mark out where I'm headed to. As in where I should pop out of the surface. Or maybe I'll just go blind and chance it. So what's in that boulder? Is there a magnesium boulder on the way to the magnesium mine? Or is it cobalt? Oh, it's cobalt. That's not bad either. I will need more of that at some point soon. Okay, subgrip wheel control script off. And let's have a look. So if I kind of try and level off and then just gradually turn to my right, I should pop out of the side at some point. And that could work reasonably well. And also that does seem like a fairly smoothish route down to the bottom. So then I could kind of go down here maybe, round and then back home as a more direct route to the way the road starts. The other option would be to go down there and try and get over to this side and dig up from there. But I kind of like the idea of coming in here. It feels uh, Helm's Deep-ish, except elevated. So I kind of like it. I really hope those park brakes are strong enough. In fact, let's drop those wheels. I'm quite aware of the steepness of the surface I'm on right now. Let's put those down so that's more grip. And then hopefully when I detach this, it doesn't roll down the hill and explode. Hey, we're good. Okay. Hopefully this is right. Because if it's not, I can't undo it. Once I start drilling, it's done. I'm right-click mining now. So what I'm hoping to get is just this to start taking off the surface in front of me. But hopefully... I'll be able to start leveling this off and digging towards a better grade for gaining altitude. Not the real steep one that I'm on at the moment. <laughs> Just rocking like nobody's business as I do this on this steep slope. My plan is, as I go further in, I'll start adjusting each arm gradually to get this thing more level left to right. And here we go. This is how I'm going to make this road. Obviously, it's going to be slow. <laughs> it's very slow going. But I think it'll be pretty awesome when it's done. The real challenge with these sorts of road roads when I've tried to make them before is trying to get them wider once you've done your first pass and still having them level with each other. Okay, that's going to do for now. That's a start. While I've still got daylight, let's build this outpost so that the trailer can charge up, making sure I've got this platform available for building and fully charged and available for building once I'm there. 
need to make sure that I don't build anything significantly lower than the top bit of the base. I mean, I mean of the tunnel. Uh, so, get that right. Maybe I'll do this. Just place my first block here. Whoa! Well, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Yeah, okay, that one's stuck. Got ejected from the voxel. So we got a what? Four, oh, three block high. Almost four block high. And... Kind of four blocks wide entry. Keep this thing fairly simple. I don't want to go too extravagant and spend ages on each one of these since there's going to be quite a few of these. Oh, and then I can put some little... <laughs> LCD bottoms along here saying low clearance. I think that'll be nice. What should I do with my turbines? Hmm. I'd like to kind of position the turrets up on each side. Maybe one over where my block's kind of indicating. One over this side. And then have my turbines slightly up the slope, possibly. So if I'm going to do that, let's see how we can get this to get over there without having silly amounts of armor used. Oh, uh, is that boulder? No, that build should be okay. So I'm thinking what I'll also do is have a little door in the side of the cliff here, make a little pressurized space that I can hang out in and try and figure out how I'm going to uh, avoid dying. Because I can just hand drill a bit of this volume in there and also put my battery in there so it's nice and secure and safe, protected from getting shot. In fact, this might be a good enough spot for the turret on this side. So let's grab that armor block, take it out. I'll go grab some interior plate, a cargo container down first. So in what is possibly a rather strange occurrence, Splitzy is going to build a turret as one of the first things in a new build. Not the last thing. And before I even get attacked. It's almost like I'm learning. It doesn't have any power, or any ability to generate power, but details. In fact, maybe I won't go so extravagant. Maybe this is enough. Yeah, maybe just a little hole in the wall, Energy turret on top, low. and a turbine or two over this side will be enough for this to feel like a proper little outpost at the start of the road. Yeah, if I, steep, if I end up using this space more, I'll keep adding to the structures around here, keep adding more turbines, things like that to try and increase the effectiveness of this outpost, but I think the idea of starting this as a small outpost to begin with appeals, largely because it means I can get back to building the road. Uh, <laughs> but I think it's uh, possibly the better way to go about doing things here anyway. Two turbines, one turret. Turret doesn't have the greatest field of fire, but hopefully this will be fine. I'm thinking I might drill a little bit off to the left and try and create a parking space for the trailer and for it to be hooked up and charging while I drill ahead, hoping I can make that work. Oh, nuts. Where have I not connected these two grids? Oh, Splitzy, how did you do that? Oh, no. I thought I'd place that on the... Dang it. Uh... Well, that was a waste. Oh no, it's getting dark. Hopefully this turret will never see action because I suspect it's not really going to do very much if it does, since it's not really in a great spot to shoot back. But it looks nice. <gasps> no! Ah, oh, I welded the ramp. That's such a waste. I'm going to be coming up here with a lot more building materials, <laughs> I think. Probably have as many trips up here to get magnesium as we do trips to bring materials up here for building. Like all my turbines in Survival Impossible, not building them for efficiency. Building them for looks first. Efficiency, not really at all. Just building them in a way that I think will look interesting. I already used all my interior plate. Oh dear. Okay. That was not supposed to run out so fast. It didn't help that I messed up the turbine. 
Last two regular oxygen bottles. Let's see what else we can build before I have to head back for more resources. Already. There we are. I have some light. Feels good. Let's do some drilling. Uh, lose that. Because I might put stairs there instead. Since I don't want the stairs sticking out into the roadway. So I wanted I just wanted to make it so that I had access to the cargo container from below. And then I will put battery somewhere in here. Maybe go block there and then battery here. And obviously before I go, I'm gonna weld up at least some of that plate around there. Because I want to make sure that the turret doesn't die because the plate that it's supposedly supported by gets shot by a single round. Yeah, I really hadn't anticipated things going this way. However, it's kind of worked out that I should be able to almost get it so that this is connected up to the outpost. Leave the trailer here and drive back just with the mining rig, uh, with the rock lobs does, so that I can go get more materials and more oxygen bottles. Hadn't really counted on... Oh, I should build a vent and an O2 tank here, because then I can fill bottles here. Yes. Yes. This must happen. Yeah, from down here, I kind of like it. I think. Oh, nuts. I'm out of, I'm out of regular O2 bottles, and I'm not going to take my emergency ones. So building a lot of other stuff is going to be a bit awkward. Uh, let's try. We're a little bit lighter. I might be able to tone this down a bit. A little bit less jumpy. Let's try drilling off to the side. See if we can make a parking area for that trailer that's under shelter. And yet still drivable. That's the real challenge. Okay, this isn't horrible. It's not super level. I think it'll work well enough, I hope. Maybe. Probably. Potentially. I reckon I'm going to be going along this road at, in a few spots and trying to use my hand drill to smooth out some parts. That's not that bad. That transition between those two sections. Let's get this out of the way. Bring in the trailer. Which I should be able to just drive from here because of the merge blocks. Uh oh, uh oh. Give me all the power. No, no, why? Why won't this drive? Oh, I know why. Some grid wheel constro control scripts left this on some mild override. Yeah, there we go. Ugh. I'm so lucky those brakes were strong enough. <laughs> Can't believe how lucky I just got there. Yeesh. gonna go this way and try and carefully reverse into this spot so that I can be towed out if need be and then I need to create some sort of hinge and piston mounted thing that can clip onto there if I build up this hinge I should be able to put a couple of pistons stacked that kind of just come down here and then have a rotor that I'll pretty much be right to connect to. This is a weird way to recharge this. <laughs> I really should have figured out a connector position for it. Hopefully I've got enough materials left after building this that I can build a an oxygen tank and a vent because then I can refill my hydrogen bottles. Uh, oxygen bottles. Hydrogen bottles. Why was I? What's wrong with your brain today, Splitzy? What is wrong with your brain every day? Please don't answer that in the comments. Oh, I didn't need three. Oh well. It's potentially useful to have them anyway. Right, let's try that, see if I can attach. Yeah, there we go. Now, all these batteries can go on to recharge. Alright, and then we need... an oxygen tank. 
And I don't have a better spot, so it's going to go here. With a vent. Out here. Fingers crossed I've got the resources for that, because then I can stay up here a bit longer. Using up the rest of the stuff that I've got in the truck. And not having to go through the pain of constantly filling up my oxygen in the cockpit. Plus, this is a very important emergency backup sort of thing. There we go, and we go control panel, auto refill, air vent, depressurize. Alright, 10% is probably enough. I'm going to turn the air vent off now because it does use a fair bit of power. And these batteries are all going to go on to recharge. Fully depleted in 5 minutes. Fully recharged in 40 seconds, 7 minutes, okay. So this platform's used a fair bit of its power, but at least the trailer hasn't. More importantly though, I have an oxygen supply. Which means I can grab all of these and leave them here. There's yet another safety net. Oh, I can't create my low clearance signs because I ran out of interior plate. Pretty sure the LCDs require it. Oh, no, they don't. Cool, I can do it. Yay. Oh, uh, I should have this along this surface. Yeah. Energy but I can't place below. all of them because my blocks that I'm standing on get in the way. And I'm out of steel plate, so I'm reticent to do too much replacement of my standing blocks, which are going to let me at least get these things molded up. No clearance. Uh, how high is it? It's one, two, three, so that's seven and a half meters. Low clearance, 7.5 meters. There we sort of go. I'll do the hazard thing the whole way across when I come back with some more steel plate, but I have 19 left, and each one of those... Oh, actually, I do have enough. Assuming I can get back up there. Now that I've placed them. Because uh, I don't have any interior plate. Which means I have to use steel plate to get up there. Though I've got some construction components. I guess I could try and use stairs. Stairs and catwalk. <laughs> there we go. That works. No steel plate used for the scaffolding. And can I grind this down without falling? Because I've managed to do it on the other one. There we go. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. It's obviously going to need some extra touches and extra things as we go along, but being the starting outpost, I think uh, getting something operational was definitely the right Energy move rather than going low. for perfect on first pass. And since it is the starting one, I'll be coming through here a lot, so I'll be able to keep adding to it and finessing it over time. All right. Let's try and get further into this drilling. Keep turning right until we pop out of the wall. Hopefully not fall down a giant cliff when I do that. I think I went too steep. I think I rushed that bit when I was first drilling it. I'm going to need to exercise a lot of patience here. I'm curious what you guys reckon I should do about getting some static lights in the tunnels. So obviously turbines do work underground, which, you know, weird. Um, and so do solar panels, sort of. Should I take advantage of that in order to build some lights along the roof that won't run out of power, that will remain powered forever? Or should I just build batteries and know that I have to intermittently replace those batteries? Which I probably just will do the batteries because I imagine it's going to be pretty slow. That's really unpleasant to look at. There we go, that's getting me more even. I was getting really high on the left there. So I've got the drills on the left set a bit lower to try and level me off. And that looks about level, so let's bring it back up. This freeform drilling of roads is something that is doable, but really hard. I kind of wish I knew more about how real world roads were built so I could take advantage of some of the things that they do. Or at least potentially take advantage of them. Like, I saw on the workshop someone had made a grader. But I can't for the life of me think how to make a grader without some scripting. Because a grader would be great for making roads flat. Or at least level to the horizon in 
one orientation. Oh, that's outside. Okay. That's what I was looking for. Uh, let's have a quick squeeze. Okay. So we're going to have all of this really rough stuff. But that's all right. This tunnel's not that long. That was what I was hoping for. And the magnesium mine is four kilometers that way. So I'm going to need to get a fairly tight left-hand turn to follow this thing the whole way around. Follow this edge and not fall down it. Let's level this off. Drop those right hint Right drills down. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> now we can try and just make our way up towards the magnesium. Just follow this the whole way. All four kilometers that I still have to travel. <laughs> oh man, this is going to take so long. <laughs> oh dear. I knew what I was getting myself into though. Oh, I've also made myself uneven again. Some of these crevices are quite deep. Really quite cool though. All right, I'm going to head back down the hill now because I don't have any steel plate and I need to figure out where I'm going to build the bridges. So that's what I'm going to do with this platform next time. And I'm going to grab a whole bunch of extra steel plate, extra interior plate, a few extra bits and pieces for the outpost at the entryway here. And maybe for some... Well, probably not yet, but eventually I'll add some forts capac along the route from the base to this tunnel entryway. There we go. Safely made it back down. I'm glad I put this camera on. Thank you for the suggestions, everyone. Because that was helpful. As I always forget those cameras. But yeah. I think that's a pretty solid start to that tunnel. I know it's only about 100 metres or so, but... Is it about... It's pretty much bang on 100 metres. Where's the magnesium? Okay, it's not even 100 metres. It's about 70 metres. Sure. So we've made it 70 metres today and we have four kilometres to go. Oh... Oh dear. <laughs> so there's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then. <laughs>